Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to your Wednesday message. All right, guys, of week 31, I believe. All right, it has been crazy. I spoke to an amazing group of leaders from Vietnam. I spoke to an amazing group uh, in the UK um, via Zoom over the weekend. I've been spending time with everyone putting the final final touches to vcon all right and i know every wednesday message until vcon happens i am going to be talking to you about making the most important life-changing decision of your freaking life all right if you remotely have second thoughts unsure uncertain of whether why should you be at vcon let me give you an answer right now and the answer is in the whole of the Wednesday message, okay? All right, this Wednesday message is about change. And let me explain why. Datu Sri Vijay just arrived back from Europe. He's back in Malaysia. I'm super excited. I get to spend at least about seven days with him before he flies out again, all right? And one message he constantly reminds me about, one message that he started instilling in me about maybe when I was about 25, 26 years old, is this concept of change, all right? He made a profound statement at the beginning of my, my studentship with him. He said, Patman, one thing you must remember, you need to change. If you don't change, you're going to die, all right? You know, Dato Sri style in your face. Now, at that time, my understanding of change is very different from how I understand it today, all right? So I'm trying to communicate the need for you to understand change, okay? So firstly, if you're brand new watching this video, listen carefully. If you've been around for a long time and you're building, struggling, or even successful, shut up, empty your cup, and listen, all right? Now, ultimately, what is change, okay? Change is letting go of who you are and becoming somebody different. All right now we usually change at certain points of our life at a very important point like you know when you graduate from a high school or university and you get a job you have to change you can't be a college student you can't be chilling out you can't be relaxing and 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 looking at life in the simplistic manner as a college student then the bigger change comes when you get uh, into a relationship, the sacrifices, the commitment, then you get married, greater change, then you have kids, greater change, okay? I'm not talking about those changes. Those changes were an outcome of a drastic decision, a big decision in your life. I'm talking about changes that you need to make the minute you start your entrepreneurship journey. Now, the greatest challenge in building your QNET business is not the business, it's not the market, it's not how challenging rejection is and all that stuff, okay? That's part and parcel of our industry, our business. You will get used to it, you will understand it, your uplines will guide you, it's not a big deal. The greatest challenge of starting a journey as an e-commerce network marketing entrepreneur is that you were not one before, okay? Recognize the fact that who you were before you signed up, all right, is not going to max out. Because if who you were before you signed up had all the ingredients of becoming financially free, it would have already happened to you, okay? So if you are not financially free, the person you were before, I hope you're making sense. That means from the time you sign up, you cannot build this business being the person who you were and expect to see financial freedom. The reason is because who you were did not achieve financial freedom before you signed up or before you reached the point of seeing or being exposed to QNET. All right? It simply means that you need to change. Everyone thinks 
just by signing up, just by making that decision to become an IR, to become an e-commerce entrepreneur, done. Now I am on track for financial freedom. To a certain extent, you are right, but you are drastically wrong. So listen very carefully. The first rule of starting your journey as an entrepreneur, as a CEO of your tracking center, as a networker, is to start the process of change. Right? And change can be small things and can be huge things. But let's start with a mixture of both. The first rule of signing up is that you are no longer in a position of being dependent on anybody for your success. That you are on your freaking own. Therefore, you have to change the way you live. Because before QNET, right, whatever you were earning, your salary, your income, your job, whatever, you had a lot of people who made it possible. Your parents, all right, waking you up and making sure you go to work, your your spouse, your, your responsibilities, the bills you have to pay, your boss, all right, the pressure of your, your, your loan for your car or your house. You understand? There were a lot of external factors, all right, that helped you survive as an employee earning some money. Now, when you start a journey of entrepreneurship, as much as you have an upline, you have a system, you have the V, you have QNET, you have the great ones, Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, this journey is yours and only yours to make. Nobody else. Therefore, you got to wake up, smell the coffee, and recognize the fact that there are many things about yourself that you need to fundamentally change the minute you sign up. All right? There are many things, simple things like discipline, which is lacking in majority of entrepreneurs today. And that's the reason why they don't succeed. Discipline means as simple as managing your name list, managing your daily schedule, okay? Making sure you're not late for appointments, making sure you manage your life and attend all the trainings, making sure you have enough money in your Quest account or in your bank to be able to fly to Malaysia for VCon because you cannot miss it, all right? Disciplining yourself every Wednesday, the minute you get the Wednesday message, shut off the world and watch the Wednesday message. You understand? All right. You cannot start your day at 4 p.m. I never did. Maybe today I start my day at 1 or 2 p.m. All right. But when I was networking, I went to bed at 6 in the morning. I was up by 9, 10, presentation, presentation, presentation. I had an extreme, extreme level of discipline instilled in me by myself, hammered into me by Dato Sri Vijay because the old Patman had zero discipline. And I knew that if I was going to be successful as a networker, I needed discipline. Your problem is you lack discipline. Because there's no discipline required to survive in the world of employment or getting a job. All right? There's no discipline required on living your day-to-day -day life. Life is too easy today with WhatsApp, with Zoom, with video calls. You can scam your employers and still get paid. But this is not an employment. This is your own entrepreneurship journey. You cannot scam anyone except yourself. Understand? All right. You need to have discipline. You need to do a complete overhaul, a complete change in the way you live. You cannot be that carefree moron who had no responsibility, who only looked forward to Friday night to chill with your friends, enjoying the Sunday, eating like... Uh, a full meal and then sleeping the whole afternoon. That, all that is gone. You need to change the way you live your life on a daily basis. That level of discipline, waking up, planning before you go to sleep, waking up in the morning and executing everything to perfection without being impacted negatively by whatever happens around you. That's the most fundamental change that nobody talks about. You can't be a carefree moron living with your parents with zero sense of responsibility and accountability if you want to be a max out king or queen. This is your life, your journey, your business. You are the CEO, CFO, COO. You are everything. So you've got to change the way you live life. All right? By minute, by hour, 
your level of commitment, your level of discipline, your level of uh, ability to learn and implement and execute, all of that needs to be done by you. You need to change who you were into a machine, a powerful network marketing machine with a heart of gold. You need to change the way you look at others, that your level of tolerance, your level of humility needs to drastically increase because now you're talking to people who you need them. You need your prospect to sign up. You need your downlines to love and respect you. You need people to listen to you. You can no longer be the arrogant, I am right, everyone is wrong, All right? Listen to me or bugger off, you know, uh, attitude of absolute arrogance. You cannot. The, the, the biggest change that you need to make is to change from arrogance to humility, to know it all to I don't know anything, to I don't need everyone, I need everyone right now. You understand? And that's a change people don't make. That means they go into network marketing with a level of self-entitlement, ungrateful, full cup, arrogant, which drives people away. And network marketing, if you drive people away, you can never survive. Network marketing is about bringing people closer to you to have that ability to influence them with trespass so they can perform to meet your expectations, their expectations, and collectively contribute BV so you can hit your TAT, as simple as that. So the biggest change that a lot of people fail to make is from arrogance to humility. And let me be honest, it took me a long time to get rid of my outward, you know, arrogant. I'm still arrogant sometimes, but there's that three to hammer thing, all right? The next change that you need to surrender. You need to surrender. You need to be a student again. I know that you left studentship a long time ago, but in network marketing, you got to be a student again. You select your mentor wisely. You're working upline carefully, but be a good student. I, I don't call myself the greatest networker. I don't call myself anything. But if there's one time I'm allowed to say something nice about myself, I consider myself a very good student of Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran consciously I made that decision that he is my mentor, he is my teacher, I will shut up, listen and do and implement to the best of my ability what he advises us instantly. Are you guys with me? So one change that you must always remain a student, that your studentship never ends. This journey could be 15 years for you and that 15 years you may be called a leader, a successful max out king or queen, a networker, but you must always be called a student. Right, that's a change because before networking, you were never a student. You left studentship the day you left your university, or even maybe sooner. Okay, and now you have to be a student again. This is fundamentally important for you to recognize. You need to actually go and surrender. Now, don't get me wrong, sometimes you surrender to the wrong person, you made a mistake, change, find somebody better to surrender to. All right, but make sure the people you surrender to is in your line of sponsorship. Right? Don't go and surrender to a total outsider which is not going to benefit you and you may benefit them, they will never benefit you. Nobody can help you, nobody can understand you, nobody can hold your hand unless they are your working effective upline because you're on the same journey. Getting guidance from anyone who's not on this journey is a complete waste of time. Now, if you want some advice on life, marriage, relationships, go see whoever you want. But if you want to be a max out king or queen, listen to another max out king or queen. Are you guys with me? So you need to change your mindset, all right, and be a student consistently, all right? You need to change and accept the fact that sometimes things are not going to go your way, all right? Now, in your previous pre-QNet person, you get upset. You, you know, you complain to your friends over a, a drink or chai, all right? You rebel. You don't vote for the whoever you're supposed to vote for. They, all this doesn't work. You got to embrace the fact that in networking, sometimes things are not going to go your way. Sometimes there are bad days. Sometimes there are tough weeks. Sometimes there are tough months. And in rare occasion, it could be tough years. Grow up, embrace it. You can't quit. You can't complain, all right? You can't go out and protest. You shut up, you swallow the pain, and you keep moving on. Things are not always going to go your way, so you're not entitled to be a spoiled brat. 
You're supposed to be a grown-up, matured individual who understands responsibility, accountability. This is what Dato Sri hammered the most out of me. All right? Because I was a rebellious for no reason. Oh, I don't care. I don't want to do it. Screw it. I don't want to do it. All right? I don't do that anymore. You man up. You woman up. And you do what you have to do because it's no longer about you alone. You understand? It's about people who depend on you. And that's the next change. The next change is that you have to understand that you are responsible for one, two, two hundred, two thousand, twenty thousand, two million 200, 2,000, million people. And that requires you to change how you live, to change your value system, to change your time, balance, life, whatever. All that is out the window. Now you are responsible for other people's lives who are not your mother, father, brother, sister, son, daughter, wife, husband. You understand? These are people who at one point were complete strangers that came into your organization and you are absolutely responsible for them. So you cannot wash your hands and say, hey, that's your karma. You know, people say that's your destiny. People use the, the single blade of grass as an excuse. Don't. You are responsible for them. All right, and you need to be a responsible upline. And in order to be an effective, responsible upline, you cannot have a screwed up life. You cannot have a screwed up value system. You can't be drunk five days a week. You cannot be missing. You cannot be somebody who doesn't reply WhatsApp. You cannot be somebody who doesn't care. Then you're in the wrong business. Get out of network marketing. Because network marketing is all about showing care, about being present, about being reachable, about being there. And it's not easy. Trust me, I'm applying to all of you representing Japa and Dato Sri Vijay. All right? I, it's two in the morning right now. All right? Almost three in the morning. And this is what I have to do. And I had to change. I had to adapt, adjust my life. I have to sacrifice time with my family. I have to give up all the things I used to like to do because now I have a greater, bigger responsibility to millions of people around the world. So that's change. So ultimately, I like the words of Arun George at one week on. He said, if you really want to be successful in network marketing, grow up. Stop being a kid. Grow up. All right? Grow. You can still be a kid. I still believe in that. But grow, change, evolve. Be more responsible. Be more accountable. Be a good upline. Be an effective upline. Be a good downline. Be a hardworking man and woman. Old school. All right? Don't be a wimp. Be a warrior. Never give up. All right? Things don't go your way. Keep going no matter what. Are you guys with me? You know? So change. Keep changing. Keep evolving. You don't know what to change. Counsel your upline. Basic building block number seven. Right, but change and keep changing, or you're going to die, as Dato Sri Vijay said. So change or die, guys. Right, but I'm not talking about the big, 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 big changes. Then when you come to VCon, we talk about it. I'm talking about small changes that once accumulated raises you to another level of an individual, as a human, as an upline, as a networker, that makes you more equipped to reach the destination of Max Out. I love you guys, and I'll see you at VCon.